Well, it's been four years, but I finally made it over to the smoke day. <laughs> Sarah Cortell, and uh, thanks for waiting. Absolutely, thanks for coming. Well, it's definitely worth the wait. Um, you're known for your ribs, but um, this is a real smokehouse. This is a real smokehouse, yep. When you go into a barbecue place, if you don't sell, smell smoke, you're not in a true barbecue restaurant. So when you see those Alto shams in the back, that means they're just holding the ribs, not cooking the ribs? Well, I don't know what you'd have Alto shams in the back for, but a true barbecue smokehouse has a huge smoker in your kitchen. Okay. Well, that's just something to think about. Um, not in their front yard, but in their kitchen. Okay, so here we are, and we've got a setup here. Uh, well, why don't you just tell us what we got? Well, uh, obviously what we have here is the baby back rib, the king of the, of the ribs. Uh, this is actually a two pound rib. We use a larger rib than most smoke houses uh, because we feel like the ratio of bone to meat to fat enables us to smoke it the entire way, finish it in the smoker, uh, and also get a tender product when it's done. So these are number two, two pound ribs? These are two, this is a two pound rib, which is a huge rib, but you just get a better product coming out of the smoker. And you can see, if you look in here, the, the pink right in there, but the smoke is just... That's your smoker. That's again, you know that it was smoked. It wasn't boiled. It wasn't braised. But uh, a true smoked meat is going to have that pinkish color. It's going to be completely cooked, but you're going to see that pink hue to it when it comes out of the smoker. Yeah, and you're going to taste it. And you're absolutely going to taste it. All right, we're going to move on. Why don't you take a quick walk in the kitchen? We want you to take a brisket out before. Okay. Um, why don't you carve a brisket and take out some ribs? Sounds Tell us good. About what, what you do with that brisket? Uh, well, we we brine our brisket for 24 hours uh, with obviously a, a secret brine, uh, and then a brisket goes in on a. <laughs> well, I can't tell you. I like you. Come on, come on, come on. You're tough. Well, obviously you've got a little salt, <laughs> a little sugar, salt, sugar. Go ahead. little smoked paprika, and that's all I can give you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, for the brisket. This is uh, really good, man. Thank you. Brisket gets uh, 14 hours in our smoker. We do it at 225 degrees overnight, 14 hours, fully smoked all the way through. You know, obviously the, the saying about barbecue is low and slow, and that's what you've got to do when you've got something like a, a large piece of meat like a brisket now, in your you're smoker. you're talking barbecue, smoking. Smoking. You're not grilling. You're not, not touching it. No. You're not braising it in oil. You're not braising it in oil. You're not using liquid. It's a dry heat. Smoking is a dry, by definition, is a dry heat technique. Okay, so that means that you obviously need to make sure that you have a um, a fat content in your meat that's going to hold up, so you don't end up with a product. You can see these ribs were smoked for six hours, but they're extremely tender and they're extremely moist. You can see that right there. You're falling. You're pulling them off the bone. Just in case. <laughs> mm. That's great. That's great. So now our ribs, uh, the baby back rib, again, locally sourced. We only use local products. We buy them from Wichita Packing down the road. They've been in business for about over 40 years. We use uh, hogs from Iowa, Indiana, Illinois. Um, so it's important for us to use the local source. We bring them here. Again, super, uh, secret rub, our mojo rub, developed in-house. Uh, and then you're uh, in the smoker for six hours. Again, low and slow. We use a combination of apple, hickory, and cherry wood in there. Decent blend. And what temperature? Again, 225? Two, uh, 225 for the brisket. We go up to 250 for our ribs. It's a little warmer. Okay. A little, little bit warmer. The brisket's going to be lower and slower because it's a larger piece. Ribs go in 250, about five and a half, six hours. Again, depending. Every rib is hand tested. We make sure that we look at every single rib when it comes out to make sure that it's done correct. Where do you get your wood from? Uh, Chicago Firewood, just down the I'm road. A local, Lo local, local guy, right down the road. Halstead and Division. Tell me about this. What is this? Is it mac oh, and well, that's mac, that's mac and cheese. Uh, you know, a little bit of macaroni and lots of cheese. <laughs> Just the way mac and cheese should be. Let me tell you, when he says mac and cheese, he's talking cheese. That's right. It's cheese and mac. Right. They're to rename cheese that. And cheese and mac. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, go ahead. The, the next sandwich over there is... That's the brisket sandwich over there. We have a pulled pork sandwich over here we really didn't talk about. Obviously, pulled pork, uh, it's a great product. We have pork, pork shoulders. Again, pork shoulders about 8 to 10 hours uh, in our smoker. A mojo rub, uh, and then in the smoker. Everything's in the smoker. All of our meats, uh, including our chicken, are all smoked. The brisket was secretly calling my name. Dave, eat the brisket. Here we go, right here. 
Can I put a pickle in here? Absolutely. All right, here we go. That's everything I expect. Good, good. Uh, we have to talk about your... We got to talk about the beans. One of our signature items and probably the, the only restaurant I know of that smokes their beans. We put our beans underneath the back ribs for four hours in the smoker in, in shallow pans. So all the drippings off the back ribs fall into the beans for four hours, um, as well as all the brisket in there. Uh, you can really taste it in the product and they're, uh, they're one of the best side items in Chicago. Keep going, baby. That was just unbelievable. Isn't that incredible? Mm. Yeah. Never tasted beans like that before. Now, I happen to know, although you didn't bring them out, that you have some great wings. We have some great wings. Yep. Again, uh, true barbecue place. Uh, we don't deep fry our wings here. We smoke them. We, uh, we cure them, or we brine them, and then we smoke them. You wait here. I'm going to go talk to a couple of people here. But, uh, have a beer, have some ribs. And Sounds good. I think I'll try these. Help yourself. We're here with this rowdy party of four, Ryan from Boston and his boys. <laughs> How many times do you come to Chicago? Uh, we come twice a year for the last six years. So what do you do when you come here? Uh, we uh, look for a great place for steak, but we found this great ribbon chicken place. You can't beat it. This is the only place to go. Hello, America. And a couple weeks ago, we were at dinner, and he said, listen, if you ever want to, like, go to the greatest rib house in town, I know where it is. So I, I, of course, had to ask him, where was it? What did he say? Smoke Daddy, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, and I said, how often do you go there? He said, probably twice a week. I live next door. What, what is it you like here? What do you order when you come here? Uh, I probably get the, uh, the baby backs, full order, when I'm feeling a little, you know, whatever, half order, but usually it's a full order of ribs, uh, full rack of ribs. Uh, depends on who I'm with, maybe uh, uh, mac and cheese, maybe coleslaw, fries, the works. It's delicious. There you go. That's all you need to know. A little surprise, you brought it. I, I knew it was coming. It's not really a surprise, but I've never tried that. Tell me what that is. Well, that's just our homemade banana pudding. You gotta have banana pudding with vanilla wafers when you're in a barbecue restaurant. Nothing, nothing like uh, some pudding to cool you down after all that barbecue. Uh, well, while I'm eating that, why don't you just tell us a little bit about the special things that go on here. Like your live music and... Well, Smoke Daddy's been around for 16 years. We're uh, on Division and Wood. Um, the great thing about Smoke Daddy, it's a neighborhood barbecue joint. Uh, we're open for lunch seven days a week. Uh, we also do live music every night, never a cover. So um, it's a great place to come, have some great food, hang out in the neighborhood, listen to some great blues, uh, and relax in one of the great, greatest uh, cities in the, in the world and one of the best neighborhoods in Chicago. Give me your phone number and your address right there. Phone number 773-772-6656, Smoke Daddy, 1804 West Division.